Investigation into racist graffiti recently discovered at UMass Amherst follows a string of racist incidents on campus. Local community leaders are speaking out. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli joins us now live in studio with more on that. Matt. Well, Chris and Jordan, as a third generation UMass student, Talbert Swan is familiar with campus culture and he shared his thoughts on how young people can help fight bigotry and hatred. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Talbert Swan, the president of the Greater Springfield NAACP, has seen anti-black hatred on the campus of UMass Amherst before. Swan tells Western Mass News it's discouraging that his son, a fourth year engineering major, is going through the same experiences as his father dealing with the same kind of racism and anti-black bigotry that we were dealing with decades ago. Just weeks after a racist email was sent to black students on campus, UMass Amherst school officials confirm a whiteboard was defaced with racist graffiti targeting black students in a residence hall. The university's black student union releasing a statement on Instagram reading in part, quote, we are angry, we are hurt, we are tired, and although we are disappointed, we are certainly not surprised. To our dear fellow black students and victims, we see you, we hear you, we love you, and we got you. Western Mass News reached out to UMass Amherst and received this statement. The university rejects bigotry in any form and is committed to investigating hateful acts. UMPD was notified of the incident by the resident director for Crampton, who was relayed that the student who was the subject of the graffiti did not wish to speak to a UMPD officer. The statement goes on to say that anonymous incidents are difficult to solve when there are no witnesses. But Swan tells Western Mass News incidents like this should not be swept under the rug. It can't simply be because no one came forth, we're not going to do anything about it. We also asked Swan, what is his message for young people in light of what has happened? Reject um, the type of uh, hatred and bigotry um, that they may see demonstrated in their families and in their, in their various social circles. Uh, that's a difficult thing to do. But that's the only way that you really stop um, this from continuing from one generation to the next. We're told both incidents are under investigation, both internally and by a third party who declined our request for comment at this time. Reporting live in studio, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.